Hi folks, just gonna wait, just gonna wait a couple of minutes till, well not a minute, well, a wee whiley, just till I see if anyone's able to join. Um, usually, I'm hoping that you can hear me. Usually we do worship at home, uh, pre-recorded and, and put up on YouTube and click the link, but um, everything's gone a bit wrong today. So, not in the whole day, but in this evening. So I've got the mic and everything, but everything for the first time, it's all feeding back. So all I can hear is a big whine in my ears. Um, the light that I need on so that I'm not in a dark hole here isn't working. Can't reach the plug because it's in behind this piano. Um, there's a, yeah, there's a lot that's kind of gone wrong. And I said to Al, well, let's just go live. Let's just go live. So he's on a presbytery meeting in another room. The kids are eating their dinner nice and late as we try to sort all this out. Um, and here we are. Uh, so hopefully you can hear. Um, so welcome to Ellen Parish Church Worship at Home. Um, it's lovely to be with you and, um, uh, and uh, spend some time with each other and with God um, tonight as we, as we worship. Um, in our sermon series is um, just now at church, um, Ali's been doing a series about uh, Kirkies, about sort of demystifying some words. And this week it was Amen. And really he was focusing a lot on truth and kind of what truth is um, and being uh, people who are honest and trustworthy and truthful and that that is uh, such a sign of God's faithfulness and that we can trust him that we can trust his promises are true that everything that jesus said rang true and and in what he did on the cross that that um that that uh, showed that everything he'd been saying and doing was true so um so we're gonna have quite a true representation tonight because it's not going through the laptop it's not going through microphones because none of that's working so it's um not there's no there's no way for me to pause and redo the dodgy bits if it all goes totally wrong. So we've got a night of truth tonight um, with it all. So um, just, I see a few people have just joined the live just to say loads of stuff's kind of gone wrong. And what that has led me to do is just to ping on live tonight. Um, so uh, Ali was talking about truth as he talked about Amen on Sunday. So tonight is going to be... Um, a true representation of Ellen Parish Church Worship at Home because it's just coming live. Um, I'm likely to have a coughing fit. I've got that cough everybody's got. It's no good. Um, do you pray for me. Pray for Jenny as well down in the Kirk Centre. She's got this cough too. Um, I say in the Kirk Centre. She's the manager of Rochester Ellen under fives, but I see her all the time in the Kirk Centre. So I do pray for these coughs and colds. Anyway, this is now just, just absolute rambling. Oh, hi, Sandra. Woo! <laughs> So tonight um, we're going to read, we're going to sing, we're going to pray as we always do. Um, and um, apologies to everybody that actually usually is waiting it in YouTube at this point because we're not there. Um, but we're going to read from uh, John 3 verses uh, 16 and um, kind of 17. I'm reading out of the message because that's the Bible I've got here on the piano. So again truth honesty that's what i've picked up tonight um but we're going to read this little bit because when it all boils down to it this this is truth this is how much god loved the world he gave his son his one and only son and this is why so that no one need be destroyed by be de by believing in him anyone can have a whole and lasting life God didn't go to all the trouble of sending his son merely to point an accusing finger, telling the world how bad it was. He came to help, to put the world right again. Let's thank God for that word of truth. And um, I've already lost my plectrum. Here we go. Uh, and let's pray together. God, thank you for this time together. And thank you that even when most of the technology goes wrong that there's still there's still things we can do to be together to worship you and to spend time thank you that you are true that you are faithful that we can say um lord your will be done and that we can amen 
that, that we can agree, that we can say, make it so, that we can know that that is a truth. And so, Lord, tonight we acknowledge that you are our great big God. We acknowledge that we are not worthy of our own making to be anywhere near you, but that your love stretching down uh, and all around us, that the presence of your Holy Spirit, that that's what brings us to you, Lord. Not anything that we've done, but everything that you've done. We're sorry for the times when we haven't loved enough in this past while. We're sorry when we haven't loved ourselves enough um, and those around us to, to demonstrate your love to ourselves and to everyone else. Lord, thank you that you forgive us and we do ask that you would forgive us tonight, that you would wash us clean and that you would bring us so close to you as we worship tonight. So thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you for sending your son. Thank you for showing us how to live and how to love. And thank you for, for being with us in it. Thank you that we can trust in you and your word. In Jesus' name, amen. We're going to do two songs uh, tonight, folks. And because I've had to just go live, it means I haven't been able to put the words up for you. The first one is The rise, the Rising, which uh, came in mind because um, Alistair talking about uh, post-truth and all these kind of things on Sunday, that the first line there is when all that's truth is twisted, when all that's known is lost, when all that's pure is tarnished, when all we count is cost, when all is breaking, you are the in the rising. Um, just um, thinking about our, everything we see on the news just now and the heartbreaking things that we just can't do anything about except cry out to our God. Um, in all of these things, whether they're in our own lives or whether they're the things that we're seeing on our screens, um, just to remember uh, God's truth in all of that and that he is big enough to hold um, that moment. And um, so we're going to bring all that to him. So uh, if <sighs> some of the words will be familiar to you because we've done it a few times. Um, but maybe even if they can just inspire your prayers tonight, that's 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 my hope. Um, the next one we'll do is a Matt and Beth Redmond song called This Is How We Know. Um, we've done it at Connect, we've done it um, in lockdown, um, but it's all about just that verse that we read together just now, John 3.16. For you so loved the world that you gave your only son. Love amazing, so divine, we will love you in return. And so it's just kind of our response to God in that. Um, so... Thank you for your graciousness that when all of the tech has gone wrong today and I haven't been able to equip you as I'd like to, to, to kind of join um, as well as we can, um, we just appreciate that you're here um, and that we're in it together. Excuse any coffin fits, we'll just barrel through it. I'll move the redundant microphones out of the way a bit. Um, so I hope you can hear. Um, I don't know. Uh, if not, Go to YouTube and watch Rachel from last week. <laughs> um, <coughs> we'll see how we go. <coughs> it reminds me of lockdown. Amy's dad, he did this a lot in lockdown. They were great. We tuned into him sometimes, just going live with his guitar. He's an inspiration. Anyway, let's worship.
Might need to take that up a bit. Hang on. Sorry to break the moment. Well done for finishing up your dinner. Now just hang on a minute. Where's mom? So where's my pudding? I'm going to come through and do your pudding in just a minute, okay? She's going to pray with some friends. You can't see them. You can only see me. Do you want to say hi? No. No, okay. Daniel doesn't say hi. Okay. 
Okay. We're just going to pray. You can pray with us, okay? God, thank you so much for your love. Thank you that you love each one of us, that if it had only been, if it had only been um, whoever is watching, Lord, if it had only been you, God still would have come and he still would have died. He still would have loved you that much. And when the world tells you that you are not worth it, thank you, Lord, that you say that we are, that we are worth knowing, that we are worth loving, that we are worth dying and rising again for. Oh Lord, if we could love the world with such love. So Lord, in this week, I pray that we would each see more of your truth in our life, that we would be able to see the beauty around us and say, Amen. That we would be able to see where folks need help and say, let's help. Amen. Where we would be able to be helped and say, praise God, we thank you for those around us. Amen. Thank you that you are truth, Lord, in a world that is so full of darkness and lies. Thank you that your love shines through and that where love is, there can be no fear. Where light is, there can be no dark. As we go into our winter, as we head straight into remembrance and then Advent, help us to remember that you are our light and that you have called us to be light in the world. Thank you that you will help us to do it. In Jesus' name. Amen. And that's all. Thanks. That's all. Yeah. Thanks for being with us, folks. Um, and uh, uh, oh, Jenny's watching. Jenny, I told people to pray for you and your cough. <laughs> um, and Moira, hi, Moira. Um, and uh, Moira, we're praying for your back. Um, I hope that you are feeling that you're feeling better. Um, thanks for your amen there, Sandra. Um, and they're saying hi to you, Danielle. We're going to go and have pudding now. Um, I pray that you're doing the same. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, see you three weeks soon. Bye for now. Bye. Not really sure how to make it stop. <laughs>